I'm Gina and welcome back to Ayur Yoga Spa. We are here in the beautiful Texas Hill Country just outside of Austin and you can see it behind me. This is the west side of our property. You've seen maybe uh, some videos on the east side at the pool overlooking the lake. And so this will be the site of some future workshops and retreats so we'll be looking for that. And um, this is part two of the uh, yoga weights, maximizing your mini routines at home. Listen for the levels so that you can work at your own pace. And I mentioned that uh, another way to maximize is to uh, add a little weight, uh, these light ankle weights, and you could use wrist weights uh, anywhere from one and a half pounds to two and a half pounds as you get stronger. For adding that uh, strengthening aspect, building um, bone density and uh, muscle tone so that you add a little bit more to your workout. And sometimes I'm hearing not only uh, time is an issue, but uh, wanting to get the heart rate up or wanting to sweat. Not your favorite thing, some of you, but this is really important to our health. So in this routine, I'll add a little bit more dynamic breathing and dynamic movement with the weights so you can feel how that can happen. In a short routine, maybe you're repeating these routines in these sequences anywhere from oh, 15 to 20 minutes, maybe two to four times a week is a good place to start. So we're going to begin standing. And a little bit of a warm up again, as we did earlier, inhaling and exhaling. So the toes are slightly out or 10 toes pointing forward. Inhaling, raising the arms, exhaling, sinking into the feet. Keeping the tailbone tucked and keeping the belly button zipped up. We call that Udiyanda Bandhas, a navel lock. So it's somewhat toning and strengthening for the internal systems. And it really helps with posture and breathing. Deepen the breath. Don't worry if you're exhaling when I'm inhaling or inhaling when I'm exhaling. Just breathe. Bringing the feet together, 10 toes pointing forward, or slightly parted so that you have more space in the lower body to move. Inhaling the arms up, only at a, a height that feels right for your body. Inhaling and then exhaling down, bending the knees, so keep facing this way. I'm going to turn to the side so you can see form here. Exhaling down, inhaling, and exhaling. So the arms can come out, keep the shoulders away from the ears, or the arms can come back. And maybe three to six rounds to the side or to the back. Setting the weights down, dangling fingers, inhaling, exhaling, taking one leg back and lowering softly onto your knee. Inhaling and exhaling down. This is good for levels one, level two, level three. Maybe adding a pulsing lunge. Inhaling and exhaling. Level three, holding the pose. And maybe you're adding a little bit of a bicep curl. So the knee could be up or down. Exhaling and inhaling. And switching the curls outside and inside as you're pulsing up and down. And so dynamic breathing with the lunge, automatically you're feeling maybe a little shaking and vibrating, a bit, little bit of heat for more. Inhaling up, holding and breathing, or moving and breathing. Last one, and then lowering down, and switching legs. So again, it could be right here, inhaling, exhaling. Up and down. Or all the way up. And moving into your bicep curls. 
with a little bit of a pulsing lunge. Inhaling or exhaling. Inhaling or exhaling. And it's always okay to just hold the pose, holding and breathing. All the way up. And exhale. Level one, child's pose. Level two, cat cows again. Exhaling as you round, inhaling as you look forward. And level three, downward dog to upward dog. Exhaling back. Inhaling forward. Again, about three to six of those. Back to all fours, stretching one arm out to the side. And then the other. And then I turn for gate pose. All the way up. Exhaling. Inhale. Exhaling. Inhaling, maybe raising the top leg. More for level three. Other side. Maybe just raising one and the other. That's fine for level one. Level two, inhaling up, all the way up, exhaling, inhaling, exhaling, adding that top leg, again three to six on this side. When you feel like you've had enough, stopping, and this time coming on to your back. Using one or both of the weights. So level one is about here, inhaling and exhaling. Level two, inhaling, exhaling, lifting the head and shoulders. Extending the legs a little bit more. And level three. Inhaling and exhaling. Keeping the lower back down. And then coming to rest in cobbler's pose. Resting the hands on the belly. Finding a nice, easy breath. So stay here for at least 10 to 20 breaths, slow belly breathing. To find out more, subscribe to my blog, Ayur Yoga Spa. Thanks.